Hey guys, this is Spun64 here, and um, I'm doing a Transformer review. Um, usually, um, I'm kind of taking a break from Transformers, but I had this guy lying on my shelf, and I decided to go ahead and review him. So this is Revenge of the Fallen Decepticon Dirge. Obviously, as you can see, this is in his jet mode. And um, right off the bat, I could say that this is an amazing figure, and I think you should go ahead and buy him. Even though he is from the Revenge of the Fallen 2009 movie line, I think he is well worth picking up for a movie figure. And I think Hasbro did a really good job on him um, with the transformation and uh, cosmetics and everything. And uh, yeah, it's really late at night here, um, so that's why I might sound a little sleepy. But, um, <clears throat> we'll bring in comparisons later, but let's just go over the overall look detail of the jet. There's a Decepticon logo right there, and on both sides of the fuselage. Um, to me this uh, jet reminds me of an angel, um, mainly because of the gold, silver, and blue, and parts of it's black. Mainly on the back or in the bottom with the, all the kibble. I think this Jetmo looks really nice um, if you look at it. it. It is a little bulky for a jet, but I think it works. Um, but uh, yeah, there's nothing much to it. There's a small cockpit here with a seat, but nobody in it or anything. Can't really open it. Well, you can, but you can't really do much with it. The little tail fin here looks really awesome. Love the way this compresses like that. That's so awesome. And there is landing gear, as you can see, but the wheels do not roll, um, unfortunately, but you could just stand them up. And he does have two of these missile launchers, even though I do not have both of them, they can go onto the bottom of his wings. And I find that pretty awesome. They can shoot. And uh, here's a, just a comparison with the... Um, the Generations one. So, there is a difference. Um, this is obviously more sleeker, but um, if you can see, they are pretty uh, similar if you look at them. Kind of. The design of the jets are obviously different. Um, they, it doesn't have like the tail fins at the back. So it has the jets, but we're not going to review this guy today. But I do have an unboxing video of him on, um, on my camera right now, but I've never uploaded it, unfortunately. Um, so I'm not going to do the transformation here, but I will probably make a transformation video for him. Um, but we're going to take a quick break, and we'll get this guy transformed. Alright guys, we're back, and we have Dirge in his robot mode. Um, I think this robot mode is fantastic. Um, and anyway... I think this robot mode is great. It's very, very creative. It's not like any other normal transformer, for sure. Um, as you can see, um, right off the bat, you can see this arm is the fuselage of the um, jet, which I think is awesome. And you're probably wondering, wow, the back of the jet usually is not the legs. That is very interesting. Um, usually the kibble goes on its back, but uh, really the only kibble is the tail fin from the back of the plane that clips onto the back of his back. Um, I think they did a really good job on his robot mode. What I could consider is to make his arms a little bit more bulky, but that's kind of a lot to ask in this figure, particularly. <coughs> and uh, his feet are kind of a little weird, but uh, you know, that's just him. In particular, that's just a picky comment, kind of. So, I can't really judge on that. But, um, <clears throat> all these nest figures have a Mech Alive feature. Um, this guy's is when you rotate his arms up and down. Oops, bump the, bump the light. Um, the, these, uh, gears in his chest move. So, that's kind of cool. And his head looks awesome. It's like really cool looking. It's the Conehead Seekers. Well, one of them. I'm still trying to get Thrust. 
Um, but having a hard time with that guy. Kind of expensive. Oops, dropped all the stuff. But, uh, anyways. Here's a side comparison with uh, the Generations th uh, Dirge. And as you can see, it's pretty different. Because this is more based off the, the classic version of the figure. And still, like, the movie design, even though we didn't even see Dirge in the Revenge of the Fallen. But I think they did a very nice job on this figure. But if I would have to recommend one, I would recommend that one. If you want a more classic design. But if you want more one with a fan... A, f a more fun transformation, I'll get this guy. He's really fun. I mean, it's not frustrating once you get the hang of it. It's it's pretty fun. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, for articulation, his head goes 360. Um, his arms go 360. His shoulders go up and down, but they don't go, like, back and forth, but his arm goes back and forth. He bends at the elbow. And his wrist go up and down, cause to make his wrist go to switch around like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, his legs go up and down, in and out. He has a bend at the knee, kind of. Yeah, here we go. And a pivot at the foot and up and down. And these wings can pivot any way you want them. So yeah, that is pretty much it and he has this big arm shield that's pretty I love how they constructed that that is awesome I'd be cool if they had a little gun there but eh, what are you gonna do he has the uh, Norwell throw the gun because these can attach to his arms well yeah they do like that but my figure tends to have his arm really loose, but oh well. That is pretty much dirge, but I have to say it is a pretty awesome figure. So I definitely rate 10 stars for this figure, well 10 out of 10. So yeah, thanks for watching, bye bye.